when we talk about textile, we're not really talking about the object itself. We are talking about the values, the cultural heritage behind it. Because textiles have been playing a big and important role in our history, and particularly in Southeast Asia, in our region, in the Malay world, we also have a particular interest in textiles. Awal 60-an memang dah tak ada dah. Uh, nenek saya dulu masa dia buat lima tu dia masih dia kecil-kecil masa muda-muda. Tu hari tu mak nak pergi muzium. Terano nak tengok. Macam kau tu kita buat muda. Anak balik buat atik eh. Okey tu je. Balik kan? Tapi yang uh, Mazion kata, oh, ni kain pangsawang. Whenever people mention about Malaysia, the first thing that comes to their mind is batik and songket. But very little people know about kain lima. Though songket is known as the queen of textile, I would say lima is like the mother of the queen of the textile. Because not all weavers can weave a lima. But most of the weavers, in general, they can weave a songket. That is for me to show the intricacy and the refined work to produce kain lima. To me, Lima is a, is a very special Malay uh, weaving and it is the highest uh, point of the finest uh, weaving which uh, includes tenon and songket. Cik Situ Kambang used to wear kain lima. She wear uh, three pieces of cloth which is kain saro and kain kembang and also selena. Masa Cik Siti Wang Kembang tu lah yang dipopularkan Lima ni lebih kepada status sebenarnya masa tu Memang tersangat mahal dan hanya untuk raja saja pakai Kalau kita baca buku-buku Memang akan selalu ada ungkapan-ungkapan yang kata Yang hanya setaraf diraja sahaja Mostly the weaver is placed in the palace So that the, the design is not being copied from other it requires someone to be very patient, very calm and also very good uh, mathematical skills for them to, to know their design and to know where the tie-dye pattern of the wear fall to produce such pattern that they want. After the Second World War, the, the, the weaver are dif difficult to get the materials. So that is the starting point when the weaving is uh, going down. People who, who knows about Kain Lima do not teach other people except their own family. But some the ladies do not want to weave, so it's gone like that. And at the same time, after the Second World War, people get with small amount of songket. So they prefer songket rather than you having the ikat because it's difficult to do. And some of the knowledge is gone. Kesenian tu bukan ada di penenung. Kesenian ni ada dalam hati masing-masing sendiri. Yang orang pandai menilai keseni yang sahaja yang suka lima. Ya, hmm. Tapi kalau orang tak pandai menilai songket ni, dia pilih yang macam ni. Ha, yang ni kata orang oh, cantik sangat bunga-bunga. Macam tu lah. Tapi orang tenun macam ni, seratus Kenang. orang menenung, seratus orang boleh menenung. Ha, yang macam ni, pakau menenung sahaja boleh menenung. We have about 38 pieces of kain limar in our collection from various categories. So we have kain limar berayat, kain limar bersongket, 
kain lima tenggarun, lima uh, sarung and still in good condition. Our conservators in the conservation center are working very closely to take care of the lima. They are like the doctors of the artifacts. So they preserve, they repair so that it will last longer than what it should. So we bring the knowledge about the textile or especially kain lima closer to the public through workshops on textile conservation by our textile conservators. So that would educate the public on how they would take care of a majestic piece like a lima. Uh, besides that, we also, from our display of the textiles in the gallery, the info panel that we provide helps to educate the public what is it all about. Saya memang bangga lah pasal saya dilahirkan dalam keluarga penenun dan masih aktif dalam industri tenunan dan akhir-akhir ini saya pula terlibat dengan tenunan lima. Jadi memang satu anugerah bagi saya, anugerah Tuhan untuk melakukan kerja-kerja sebegini. You must know your own heritage because how do you show your own identity? If it's all the same. Limar, the intricacy of producing it, which is very far from the intricacy of producing a song kit. But why is it important for us to know about this is to show us that our ancestors before have these skills already. We, they were skillful and find patterns inspired by nature, inspired by flowers and fruits on a piece of textile. So at least today, if, even if we are not wearing lima, at least we know about it. <laughs>